Hi guys, it's Wombat, and I think all of you are using, or at least you have heard of, Sizzle's Mega Pack. We're all using it because of the incredible amount of customizations that you can add to your truck. But today we're going to take a look at that and its additional customization pack, which allows you to make a lot of these accessories very personal so that is what we're going to dive into today let's get started so here i am inside my truck and i've added a mug a couple of photos in a frame a wonderbaum uh, a um a scarf, I guess it is, uh, in the window, and a uh, warning sign of some kind with a wombat on it, because why not? Uh, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of things we can do. We can add, uh, let's see what we have here, uh, a magazine, of course. And what all these things have in common is that they have my name or my duck or something that I feel are close to me uh, included on them and the way I'm able to do this is by using the customization pack by Sizzle so let's have a look at how you get your hands on the customization pack and how you make good use of it and there are a few things we need obviously we need Sizzle's mega pack Currently version 2.5 is the latest available. They're all linked to his website in the video description. And you want to download this file. Uh, and I highly recommend that you use the Steam version of the Mega Pack. It is available for both ETS2 and ATS. And it doesn't matter if you want to do this for just ETS or ATS or both the modifications we're going to do to the mega pack is the same regardless so download the version or the versions that you want to use from steam the next interesting thing here is his customization pack which i don't think everyone is familiar with but it has existed for quite some time the smp customization pack is the mod that we are actually modifying and the great thing about the customization pack is that you can use it even after Sizzle's mega pack has been updated to a newer version so we're gonna go ahead and download that file from share mods uh, and uh, use it to customize the mega pack but to be able to customize it, we first need to extract it. And to extract this file, the customization pack, I'm using 7-zip. I use 7-zip for all files I extract and I highly recommend that you use it as well. Just make sure that you're always using the latest version of 7-zip. Uh, if you're having problems extracting files, it's on a regular basis because 7-zip the version you have isn't the latest version available then we have GIMP you don't have to use GIMP uh, it's an image application uh, I'm using GIMP because it's free and it's huge and you can do a lot of things with it you can use paint or any other image application you want to use as long as it also has a DDS add-on DDS is the file format, the image file format that we're going to manipulate. So Paint has a different DDS add-on. GIMP has this one and there's a link to it in the video description. But it doesn't matter if you use GIMP or Paint or any other image application. As long as it supports DDS files. So after downloading all these files and installing your image application and 7-zip, you want to extract the Sizzle customization pack. That pack, as extracted, we are going to move that into the mods folder as it is. So I'm gonna cut it. 
and then I'm gonna paste it into my mods folder for ETS2. And so in the mods folder I just press Ctrl V and the file is there. And the reason I'm putting it here extracted is because now we're gonna start making some modifications to this mod. And we're not gonna bother with the four files in the root folder for this mod. These four files is only there to represent the mod in the mod manager. Instead, we're gonna focus on the folder you see here. Uh, because that folder contains all the different DDS files that we're gonna make changes to so that we can have a more personalized interior of our trucks. So if we double click that folder, we'll have 34 new folders. And basically these 34 folders uh, equals 34 accessories from Sizzle's Mega Pack that we can make changes to. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these folders. And most of these folders contains two files, a DDS file and a PNG file. Now the PNG file is just the um, preview that you see when you go through the list of different um, accessories. The DDS file uh, is the one that we are making changes to, to actually get a personalized accessory. Some of these mods doesn't only contain a DDS and a PNG file, they also contain folders. And in that case, it is folders that allows you to personalize the item even more. Uh, and in this case, it's a flag and I can only use one flag. I want to use a Swedish flag, so I copy the Swedish flag into this folder instead the root folder of that particular accessory and thereby I overwrite the Turkish flag. So now I can go ahead and personalize the Swedish flag instead of personalizing the Turkish flag. Now let's go ahead and make some changes to one file and I'm going to make some changes to one of the wonder bounds and the wonder bounce let's pick him up and there they are the wonder bounce contains uh, four files and two folders there are two dds files two png files and two folders so the two dds files are the two different files that you can change to make actual changes to the um, accessories the two folders then include different colors of the different wonder bounds uh, so you can move those this one is a black one we can move that into this folder and replace the green one with a modified black one instead but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to modify one of the green ones so i open the dds file with gimp and GIMP then asks you, let's see, drop it in like that. GIMP asks you if you want to load minimaps. Don't do that. Do not load the minimaps. They just um, cause problems because you're going to have to recreate them afterwards. And here is the Wonderbaum. Um, and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to repaint it a little bit. Make some changes to it so that it suits me better. Uh, I'm not going to call it Wonderbaum anymore, I'm going to call it, um, let's see, Wombat Baum. And uh, we need to adjust the size of the letters. And we're going to have to, yeah, go for bold, decrease it a little bit more. Um, you know what, let's just quickly go through these changes that I'm doing to the file and then I'll catch up with you immediately after. And 
there we have it. I'm satisfied with my stupid uh, Wonderbaum or Wombatbaum. Now we need to flatten the image uh, because a DDS file can only have one layer. So there we go, we have flattened it down. Now it's time to export it. And of course we're gonna overwrite the uh, file. We're not gonna just save as, we're gonna export it and overwrite. And the reason we are exporting instead is because we need to recreate those mini maps that we didn't load when we added this file in. Uh, we're not gonna use compression or any make any other changes, just go for no compression. That is the easiest way of doing this. Uh, we could use compression, but that just adds to the uh, difficulty of making these DDS files work. So just leave it as it is, no compression. So if you load up the game and go into the mods folder, you have the mega pack, of course. And on top of that, you add the Sissel mega pack. And it's in this mod that we have the files that we have altered, so they have to overwrite uh, Sissel's own accessories. So let's take a look at what we've done. I've done more than just the um, the um, Wonder Bomb, of course. But let's pick that up now and see. Uh, there it is. Now, if we had altered the PNG file as well, it would have been even easier to spot our modified file because in this list then is where you see those png files but of course we didn't make any changes to those so they still look the exact same as they would if you look at um, Sissel's uh, non-personalized accessories but yeah feel free to change the png files as well and now that we made the uh, wonderbound together it's time for you to go ahead and create your own mug and photo frames and things like that. Go bananas with Sizzle's Mega Pack customization pack and have fun. Take care everyone. Bye bye.